First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rokah Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone that rule well, and a sincere salutation to all you Akim and you Akwa that believe in all sincerity. This video is going to be entitled To Humble Thee and to Prove Thee and to Know What Was in Thine Heart. And you can find this line in the book of Deuteronomy 8 and 2. Okay. And. Basically, you know, the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, humbles us, proves us, okay, to know what is in our heart, you see, what is in our mind, what is in our, our spirit, okay, which, you know, he already knows, you see. And this line in this chapter, um, you know, made me go back to uh, to read because there's a lot of important points. There's a lot of, you know, edification that you can get when you read, OK, this uh, particular account. So I want to read Deuteronomy 8 and 2 and um, get some points out of uh this chapter and uh, get some precepts, Lord willing, this will be edifying. It says, Deuteronomy 8 and 2, And thou shalt remember all the way which Yahweh thy power led thee these 40 years in the wilderness. So as we read this story, we remember the account, you know, it, it was the Most High, okay, that led the Israelites, okay, 40 years in the, in the wilderness. And, you know, you know, we're about to go into the wilderness again, okay? You know, Israel was liberated from Egypt, okay, and was sojourning, okay, to the land of promise, okay, which was the land of Canaan, okay? And, and the story goes that Moses was to send uh, 12 men, 12 uh, from the 12 tribes, okay, to spy out the land, okay, which the land was already uh, promised, okay, to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you see, and it was theirs for the taking. They had to simply trust and obey, okay, but as the story goes, 10 spies, you know, came back with an evil report saying that the Canaanites were too big, that they were like grasshoppers in their in in their in their eyes, you see. In the congregation of Israel, they believed that report, okay. And the people they lost heart and they rebelled against Moses and Aaron, you know, saying, you know, basically, if only we had died in Egypt or in this desert, why is the Most High bringing us to this land only to let us fall by the sword? Because, you know, they 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 lost. Uh, they lost faith in the fact that they could overcome, okay, the Canaanites, okay, but the land was already promised, you see, so, you know, basically, uh, the Most High was, 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 was wroth, okay, with Israel, okay, and, and Moses, you know, he had to intercede, because the Most High was about to, uh, you know, basically, uh, you know, do away with all the congregation, and, 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 um, and start a new one. You're about to create, you know, a whole new congregation. Okay, and that's what he and that's why he caused them to to wander in the wilderness for 40 years, you know, because they had seen okay, his miracles and his wonders that he did for them out of, you know, Egypt and how he liberated them. So, you know, the most high was like, you know, how could this people, you know, be be uh so disbelieving? You see, and when you read this account, it kind of, you know, it reminds you, okay, of the situation we are in because we are in spiritually uh, Sodom and Egypt, all right? Uh, this guy, uh, Joe Biden, just signed a bill that all states have to uh, basically, uh, you know, it's law, it's lawful to legalize, um, you know, the alphabet marriages, okay? And Egypt, because, you know... Uh, 
we are in the land of, of, of our captivity here. Okay, a lot of Israelites uh, went into captivity here in America. You see, so you know a lot, a lot of our people. Okay, they hear this word, they don't believe that uh, that we can get the victory. Uh, okay, that, that we can overcome Esau, Edom. Okay, who's likened to you know the Canaanites, you know, which which are heathen as well, and, and we are going to get the victory over the heathen. You see, we we just have to trust. Okay, and obey because it's already written. Okay, so <clears throat> it says Deuteronomy 8 and 2, And thou shalt remember all the way which Yahweh thy power led thee these 40 years in the wilderness. It says to humble thee and to prove thee and to know what was in thine heart. Okay, so, you know, the Most High, he humbles us and he proves us. Okay, J you know, just to know what is in our heart. And he knows, okay, he knows the heart of the elect. Okay, the, you know, the scriptures say before we came out of the womb, you know, the Heavenly Father knew us, you know, so he knows us better than we know ourselves. Okay, but that's just how the Heavenly Father rolls, right? You know, his thoughts are higher than our thoughts, so we can never really fathom, okay, why, you know, we have to live uh, the story like this. It's just, it's just the Heavenly Father's movie, as we say, right? It says, whether thou wouldest keep his commandments... Or no. Okay. It says, And he humbled thee and suffered thee to hunger and fed thee with manna, which thou knewest not. Neither did thy fathers know that he might make thee know that man doth not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of the Most High Yahweh Bashim Yahashai doth man, man live. Okay, so... You know, and you're humbled, right? When you when you're suffering hunger, you know. But but you know, as as you know, they murmured. The, the heavenly Father fed them. Okay, with with angels' food. Okay, that that hidden that manna. You see, so while we're coming upon hard times, you know, inflation, you know, here it is, um, you know, food. You know, is 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 expensive nowadays. We have to remember that the Lord can make a way out of no way. You see, so we must not uh, uh, harden our hearts. Okay. So it says, it says, thy raiment wax not old upon thee, neither did thy foot swell these forty years. You know, in our clothes, you know, you know, we're we're still alive. Okay, we can't say we're not. We have to be content. You know, what does the scriptures say? Uh, godliness with uh, contentment, roughly paraphrasing, is, is, is gain. Okay. It says, Thou shalt also consider in thine heart that as man chasteneth his son, so Yahweh thy power chasteneth thee. So the Heavenly Father is always proving us. Okay. He's always humbling us. You know, he's always trying to see, you know, what, what we're made of, you know, we're his creation, you know, and just like we're, how we're fathers, we look at our, our, our sons and our, and our children and, and see, you know, what, what, what they can figure out on their own, what, you know, what is it they can endure, you know, we give them tasks, you know, we see, we see them fall and we see them learn. The Lord is, 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 you know, similar, you know. But the Lord knows that what we need, you know, even before we ask. Okay. So, you know, we, we have to be content. Content. Okay. With, with, with what we have. You see. It says, therefore, thou shalt keep the commandments of Yahweh thy power to walk in his ways and to fear him. For Yahweh thy power bringeth thee. Into a good land, a land of brooks, of water, of fountains, and depths that, that spring out valleys and hills. A land of wheat and barley and vines and fig trees and pomegranates. A land of oil, olive, and honey. A land wherein thou shalt eat bread without scarceness. Thou shalt not lack anything in it. A land whose stones are iron and out of, those, out of whose hills thou mayest dig brass. When thou hast eaten and are full, then thou shalt bless Yahweh with thy power for the for the good land which he had given thee. And, and that's the thing. 
you know, the most high, you know, he, he had promised the land to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So it was, it was already theirs. You see, you know, the most high will never lead us where his grace, okay, cannot provide or, or, or where he cannot pr protect us. The, you know, the Lord knows who's are his, you know, Lord willing, we be those, those men. Okay. And, and, and not those that, that basically, you know, they were rebellious. And for the, for the rebellion, they had to wander in the wilderness and they had to die off. Those that were, they were against the most high, those that rebelled, you see, and, 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 you know, there's, 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 uh, those that are in the faith that, when, you know, all hell breaks loose from the hour of temptation, you know, because that, that's somewhat like the uh, the wilderness that we're going into, you know, a time where, you know, you're not going to have no food, no water, no vehicle, no job. You know, they're going to roll out that MOTB, you know, they're going to come uh, for the saints and, and we have to, you know, you know, trust, you know, that Yahweh Bashim Shai can make a way out of no way. Like he did for the Israelites in the wilderness, and 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 believe that we're gonna get the victory, that these devils, these heathens, are gonna pay for the captivity that they put us in. You see, it's it's all a test to see, you know, if the Lord's gonna find faith, and He already knows that 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 there will. Okay, but that's this is just how the Heavenly Father wrote the story to be. Okay. So when, 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 you know, when you're, when you're eating and you're full, you see, you, you always bless you. How about shimmy out shy? But what about when you don't have anything? You know, what about when times are rough? You know, what are you going to do in those times? Right. And it goes into that. It says, <clears throat> 11, beware that thou forget not Yahweh thy power and not keeping his commandments and his judgments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. Lest when thou hast eaten and are full and hast built goodly houses and dwelt therein, and when thy herds and thy flocks multiply and thy silver and thy gold is multiplied and all that thou hast is multiplied, then thy heart be lifted up and thou forget Yahweh thy power, which brought thee forth out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. So we have to remember, okay, this account for in the day of trouble, you know, the day of Jacob's trouble, we're going to be saved out of it. You see, you know, we have to remember to abase and to abound that, you know, it's not always going to be uh, good. Okay, there's going to be bad. All right, we have to take one with the other. And, and ultimately, there's going to come a day when we're going to have to forsake it all. Lest, lest we be like those Israelites to say, we, hey, we, man, we... What do, what do we have to depart out of Egypt for? What, you know, it's better for us to, to, to be in Egypt. You know, some are going to bow, okay, the knee. And some are going to take the, that sea hip to try to preserve their life. That's why, you know, these accounts are written. That's why the Heavenly Father made Israel to go through these things. So that, so that uh, you know, there could be some, some learning Okay, so 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 there could be uh, uh, examples of the faithful and of the unfaithful. You see, it says, "Then thy heart be lifted up, and thou forget Yahweh thy power, which brought thee forth out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage." So we know that this happened. Okay, this is a true account. We must never forget the Lord was able to bring the Israelites out of the house of bondage, just like he's going to be able to do it in these last days. Okay. It says, who led thee through the great and terrible wilderness wherein were fiery serpents and scorpions and drought where there was no water, who brought thee forth water out of the rock of flint. You see, the Lord can make a way out of no way. The script, you know, the scriptures say the Lord can furnish a table. Okay, in the wilderness. Matter of fact, let me see if I can find that. Table.
Yeah, miracles, miracles will happen. It's in the book of Psalms. Psalm 78 and 19. Let's get that real quick. You know, you got some Jakes, you know, in the truth to think that, you know, you know, it's better to, it's better to, uh, to get it now. Psalm 78 and 17, they sin yet more against him by provoking the most high in the wilderness. And they tempted the most high in their heart by asking meat for their lust. Yea, they speak against the most high. They said, can the most high furnish a table in the wilderness? Behold, he smote the rock that the waters gushed out and the streams overflowed. Can he give bread also? Can he provide flesh for his people? Therefore, Yahweh Bashem Yashai heard this and was wroth, so a fire was kindled against Jacob, and anger also came up against Israel because they believed not in the Most High and trusted not in his salvation. That he, Though he had commanded the clouds from above and opened the doors of heaven and had rained down manna from manna upon them to eat and had given them corn, the corn of heaven. Okay? So they saw miracles. Yet they trusted not, they believe not in the salvation. Okay. And there's gonna be some that are not they're not gonna trust and believe to the end. Okay, we have to hope and pray that we're not of of, of that that number. Okay. Let's go back. It says, Deuteronomy 8 and 16, Who fed thee in the wilderness with manna, which thy fathers knew not, that he might humble thee, that he might prove thee, and to do thee good at thy latter end. You see? So, the Lord knows what we need. Okay? Even in the time, okay, uh, that is to come, the Lord knows what we need. It's all to humble us. It's all to prove us and to do us good at the latter end. You know, there's a saying in the world that, after the after uh something to the effect that um after the uh before the sunshine comes the rain something to that effect okay and that's true okay it says and thou say in thy heart, my power and the might of mine hand hath gotten me this wealth. <clears throat> and, and, you know, and Jake thinks that he, you know, it, it's because of him that he gets wealth. It's really Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. It gives you the power to sustain yourself. So if you try to save your life, you know, you shall ultimately lose it. And those that lose their life for the Lord's sake are going to gain it. You see, but thou shalt remember Yahweh thy power, for it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant, which he swore unto thy fathers, as it is this day. And it shall be, if thou do for, thou do at all forget Yahweh thy power, and walk after other gods, and serve them, and worship them, I testify you, I testify against you this day, that ye shall surely perish. You see? So you're going to perish if you go and serve and worship other gods. And Esau Edom, all right, is about to roll out that roll out that MOTB. And that's an image. Okay. You know, that's a whole system that they're bringing out. And, and there's many are going to are going to fold. You see, many are going to fold in that day because they do not trust and they do not believe. Okay. But whatever faith you've been given. You better pray, you know, we better pray that, you know, we can endure until the end. Because the Lord's going to do us good at the latter end. You see, as it says here, it always does that. So basically, I wanted to bring this out. You know, Lord willing, it was edifying. You know, the Heavenly Father, Salakia, 
you know, he, uh, he's going to lead us out of the wilderness. Okay. Just like, um, Joshua and Caleb came out of the wilderness. All right. And, it, and it's all to humble us is to prove us and to know what is in our heart. Okay. Whether we would keep these commandments or no, you see, because the Lord is always trying his, his, uh, his people. Okay, there are special people unto him. And he, he wants to know what they're made of. And he already knows, but but who has known the mind of the Lord? Who has who has met him in counsel? Who has met him in judgment? You know? So you have to remember these things because at times we don't know why uh, we go through certain things, but you know, it's ultimately to to you know, be increased at that latter end. What does it tell you? So rock the second chapter. Depart not away. Okay. That, that thou may be increased at thy latter end. Okay. So Lord willing, this was edifying. Um, and the point was made. Um, you know, the Lord does things, you know, in miraculous uh, ways. You know, when, when your back is against the wall, you know, the Lord is, is really, he's really trying to prove you. He's trying to see what, what you're made of. Okay. And, and you know, that's that's the uh, the plight of Israel. Okay. And, and the elect is going to make it all the way to the end. And at times we have questions of why we go through things and, you know, why it must be so. You know, even Yahweh Shai in the Garden of Gethsemane, he asked, was there any other way? And, you know, he didn't receive an answer. And that is the answer. That there's only one way, and that's a straight gate. That's to trust and to, and to believe. Okay, and Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, because, you know, many miraculous things were done to those that that, that that were of another spirit, and we have to pray that the Lord keep, um, you know, supping with us day after day. You know, because we need Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai every day. So Lord willing, this was a uh, edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rokhapodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone that rule well, and a sincere salutation to all you Akim and your Akwat that believe in all sincerity. Shalom.